Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, welcome back to Talking Shop. We have the whole crew back together again. Uh, it is getting closer to Christmas, uh, which for us means more John the Baptist and uh, major disappointments. On no. his, yeah, know, right? uh, but it's great text. Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 15. Uh, John's in prison and wants to know what the heck's going on. We'll get after it. Thief away, spit out my Lord in every way. Yet I'm still welcome. Yeah, let's get after in this. The yard uh, Matthew 11, the verses 2 through 15. Um, I have shocking news at and the beginning of the text is. Uh, what? And took his cry. I'm going to have to look at it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shocking Are we shocked that John the Baptist is in prison? Yes. Is that what we're shocked oh, yeah, oh, okay. So we just right. got... Question. If last yeah. week, yeah. John was doing his thing, <laughs> baptizing people. A week later, we have John again, though now he's in prison. Uh, and, uh, and so he sends a couple of his disciples uh, to go to Jesus to inquire... What? What do they want to know? What does John want to know? Are you Messiah? Yeah. Yeah, he's the one. Are you, are you the one? Um, I think what I like about this text is it's, it's just very honest, right? John's preparing the way. He's that guy. He's baptizing. He says, the one's going to come after me whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie or carry. I can't remember which text we did. But uh, and Gary. he's got all that, and then um, uh, he shows up, and uh, John ends up in prison. This doesn't tell us why. We don't have to get into that right now, but uh, he's in prison. And he's not going to leave prison with his head still attached. Uh, and he starts to go, uh, I mean, maybe somebody else is coming? Are you like the down payment of something more to come? Are you like... Was I preparing for you, but there's somebody who's going to really come? Because I'm kind of in prison, and uh, it's not looking good, right? And, and if they read Peter's article on this, which is, you know... On uh, craftofpreaching.com. Craft preaching. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we, uh, he's, he goes, this is where he's, the thrust of his thing is for, for preachers, is, is focus on that. Focus on... Your people have questions, too. Uh, yeah. And, and, and they're legitimate questions and kind of delving into what that looks like and you can really make a connection. Yeah. There, there was a text. promise attached to all this right, yeah. and it doesn't look like right. what I thought it ought to look like. And there like. are commentators who actually say, well, this isn't John. This is John doing this for his disciples. But no, I think this is actually John yeah. Yeah. asking this question. And and he's thinking through it. He knows the promises just as we do today. Introspective in prison. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that tends to happen, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's working his way through this. He knows the promises. He knows the text from Isaiah. He knows what's going to happen when Messiah comes. And he is in prison. And he knows that that's not where you're supposed to be if the Messiah comes. Because the Messiah is going to set the prisoner free. Right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Ernie... We just got to get you engaged yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're always here. On, the, on the fringe, yeah. outside looking in. A little in. introspective in prison over here. <laughs> What are they supposed to tell him? Yes. Yes. He tells them, yes. go and tell John, again, what you, that's interesting, yeah, what you hear and see. So I think, you know, hearing is always good. Um, but, but. <laughs> yeah, hearing's good. <laughs> we got that. And? So what the, sort of things uh, is he supposed to tell them that he they hear and see? What are they hey, hearing and seeing? Just a caveat. I'm usually not like this. It's just when I get around the guys here, it's something like switches on or off. Yeah. I don't know if it switches on or off, but I just, it's weird. Sometimes it flickers. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Ernie just did a wall break. Do you see that? <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. If you knew me in real life, I'm not like this. I'm, I'm totally different. I don't know what the deal is. Anyways. <laughs> Come back to bed. All right. Wake up again. Yeah. Start all over. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. The blind. 
Yeah. All right, so we see the great reversals here, and this okay. is what this is a sign of what Jesus brings to the table is that he is uh, the great exchanger, the great reversal, you know, uh, uh, reverse upside down kingdom, all this stuff, uh, turning the kingdom upside down, the blind against sight, lame and lepers. All these are helpless conditions, right? Deaf, uh, the poor, the dead, the, uh, and all these things uh, that is a fulfillment of, again, Old Testament prophecy and here... Uh, John might not be, what's it, He's, he might not be available to see it for himself. But even imprisoned, he knows that the one has come to set him free as well. Right, right. But what's so. the key to this whole thing? That, I mean, uh, maybe not the whole thing, but to this bit that, that for John, right, in prison. Yeah, yeah so, you said it earlier. Yeah, so, so John, John is in prison. In the, the last quote where he says, the, the poor have good news preached to them, um, in Isaiah 61, where he's where he where Isaiah speaks of that, he's the next line is is about the liberation of the captives, and that's not what he tells John. <laughs> so it's like he says, "Tell him all this other stuff," and instead, in place of that, right, what he gives him is, uh, "Blessed are those who are not uh, scandalized or." Uh, that scandalized, yeah. yeah. Scandalized, yeah. Offended, yeah. I, mean, I think, I think is the word. Scandalized is preach really. I mean, you, you really could good. stop yeah. right there with this and preach that yeah. bit to your people and go, yeah. listen, how many times have you experienced that? You're in a prison. You're sick. You can't get rid of it. Right. You've got a, you've got a disease. Nobody can do anything about it. You've got a cancer. You've got a, a family problem. You can't even get a hold of the person, let alone deal with the person. You know I mean? You could right. bring all those examples in and go, we, we've all got prisons that were like, where's Jesus? Yeah. yeah. In the midst of all this. Yeah. Well, where's where's the hope in this? Are you really the one? I mean, to, to because assume. again, yeah. we know the promises, right? right? And so we know that he brings healing to the blind. We know that he cures diseases. We know all of that, and yet it's not happening to me, right? right? This is kind of this is the same thing you know, for John. It's not it happening yeah. to me. And what's fascinating, like uh, the way this gets interpreted today, right, is in in a lot of places is. The problem then is with your faith. Right. Somehow your prosperity, faith is, prosperity isn't enough stuff. Yeah. for these you things need, you to have been enacted. Yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, you do need to work harder. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, doesn't, he, doesn't wow. he tell that to John, right? I mean, where yeah. was your faith? That's yeah, what yeah. landed you in prison, yeah, right? Was right. Your, right? You didn't believe in me enough. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I think you're right. I think for a lot of people, that that first paragraph is in, essentially yeah. enough for a sermon. Uh, but the context does go on. Uh, and we get, um, he turns his attention Sorry, to the Tim, crowds. Sorry, Tim, there's more text. Yeah, yeah. He turns his attention to the crowds, and he, <laughs> what, he's, what he's doing. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know you won't stop at 20, so. We, we know what he, what he does is he turns his attention to uh, identifying who John was, his role in all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, so he speaks to John's disciples, go tell them this, and, and that's kind of the first piece. And then it's, he turns to the crowd and says, so now who was this guy? Like you... Basically, he's addressing him. You all went out to see him. What'd you go see, right? And what kind of well, images? This is, is he another painting? one of those questions. He does it in other parts of, of this letter, but it, you know where Jesus asks, them, they know, right? If they answer one way, he pigeonhole. He's going to pigeonhole them into. Well, if he's a prophet and he talks about me, then what are you doing? If he's not, yeah. Then, then what'd you go to see? What'd you yeah, go out? Why, why, why'd you try? You know that kind of thing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's mm-hmm. his rhetorical question. Yeah, this fits with the uh, who by what authority right. do you. Have this in John two, right? right? Yeah, this yeah. is, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what kind of things does he speak about with the uh, with the crowd there? People wearing soft clothing, is that what you're <laughs> soft to luxurious. 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 I got luxurious. I got luxurious. I like, like the like stuff, <laughs> like the stuff that Ernie wears. I mean, that's, effeminate was that's, one of the. That was one, one of the. the if, I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. Sorry, I just sorry. when I when I read that when I read that actually I think of all of the the. Uh, well, I mean, actually, the Swiss Guard pops in my my head. But, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I think of all of those kind of, uh, you know, mid uh, medieval dressed mm-hmm. soldiers and all the bright colors yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Fancy that's, uh, and and right. the yeah. first one, though, before you get to that, the clothing is a, is a reed shaken by wind. And it, the way I kind of, that's just like, basically, it's just loud noise, right? It's just like, are you just going out there because there's, it's like, Drive by a car <coughs> wreck and everyone's got to check it out. Like there's some something over there that's making yeah. a lot of noise. Let's go yeah, check it out. Look at the body bag. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> to be gloomy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah. and and then he gives us uh, another quote. Uh, he's 
And what does he direct our attention to? Actually, a double quote, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Exodus and Micah, isn't that right? Or Malachi. I think it's Exodus and Malachi. Yeah. Um, just the prophecy of John. Um, and, yeah. And uh, the, the idea that you know, I'm going to send a messenger before Messiah, and he's going to prepare the way. Yeah, uh, make you know, the, make you know what's kind of cool about this, too, is in, in the context of this guy's having second thoughts, or not, or at least he's curious and he's not he's sure and things don't yeah. seem. That doesn't mean he wasn't the guy that was to prepare the yeah, way. That's true. Like he's that's still true. that guy. Yeah, he's still doing. He did that work. Yeah, John up or Jesus upholds John in the yeah. work that he did, even yeah. as he tells him your expectations. Yes, are not actually it's really going good, to, right? to to come to fruition. Uh, yeah, that's it's. So that's a way of edifying your people and saying, you, what you do here on this earth, yeah. what you, I mean, you still have a purpose. Yeah. Right? And it's being fulfilled in Christ, even if it doesn't meet your expectations. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even that's if it really doesn't good. work out yeah. according to your ideals. Right. And then so then it goes into the truly I say to you, right? Uh, um, the sort of the, the greatness of John the Baptist, right? Um and then uh, he, so he's, he's, again, he's elevating John. And then verse 12 is, is a strange verse. Um, what, what's, his, what's his assertion there? What does he get it's at? It's kind of awesome. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, you, it, this, I think this goes back to this idea of, of the question, right? You, you, we're always going to suffer violence, right? The kingdom of heaven doesn't look like what we want it to look like. It doesn't look like what John wants it to look like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like what your people want it to look like, anything. But it's going to suffer those things until Jesus' third advent, right? Until he, yeah, it's fun. Until yeah. he returns. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and then all the prisoners will be set free and all these things will be made right, right again. Right. So, so yeah, it's a... Affirmation of the violence is, is a real thing. Again, it's mm -hmm. not pretending like it's not there. Um, you got something there, Ernie? You look like what, you're what ready you to pounce. Ernie's ready to, come on. Um, no, I, I think as you guys are talking, because um, I always listen to your guys' wisdom all the time, um, I think... <laughs> That's not true. Hey, hey, guys, guys, I do. I do. At least we have the lie on camera. No, I, I, th I think overall, you know, all this is really hovering around the. Uh, and the, again, I don't want to jump the gun here. Is that what they say? The idiom, jump the gun. Uh, he who has ears. Yes. Uh, let him hear. Uh, and. and but I, we talk about imprisonment, we talk about violence, we talk about all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, just as John was prepping the people for what was to come, I mean, we're, we're also, I mean, not even, not even death can assail us because of what this Jesus has done. I think that's, I don't know, as pastors, you always see it, you know, you're, you're dealing with death, you're dealing with people who, you know, you die, people who die and you have to bury people and all these things and. It's like in those moments, it's like, well, still, you know, we have a Jesus who, who has set us free. And I, I think that's in the midst of all the things that even John would face. It, it's all well. And I think that's the, the gospel there, right? Uh, of, of what it means that through all circumstances, whether have I tried hard enough? Why, why is this happening to me? Or, or I thought um, people are supposed to be healed by if we believe and why isn't it all happening in my life and and again it, the point is it has I think that's it already has and it will always be because of what Jesus has done I think that's it's hard to fathom I think when we face circumstances in life our eyes see one thing but then our faith uh, sees yeah. another well right? this, is, this is this is if they want to jump over to Jagged Word and look at Hess's article from December the 4th Right today, this is what he's talking about about the navel gazing with Dietrich Bonhoeffer in prison and all that stuff. You know, I mean, it's this idea that that we spend so much time being introspective, and yet God is calling us not to focus on ourselves, but focus outside. Focus on what? Focus on 
Christ, mm. yeah. the one who yeah. heals and, and delivers and frees, and, right. and, and it's, it's a change of focus uh, for, for the believer all the time. And, and it's a refocusing all the time. Right? <laughs> all because the time. Because it's so easy to get, get focused on the violence and the, the lack of, and, and the, the, the what you don't have. Well, and we also, I mean, we, we, we constantly get drawn into the prosperity gospel. This is the Christ who has come to bring us light. This is the Christ who has come to fulfill all of our needs. This is the Christ. What does that look Christ like? Who has it looks come like a million to, dollar house. And, right, and, who, is, who has come to Tesla heal all of our hurts. And, and yet, even as Jesus talks about it, as, as John those. among the prophets, the prophets were, were beheaded, they were whipped, they were scandalized, they were, you know, they did not have an easy life. Um, and so what, what drove them was not the prosperity of the kingdom of God. What drove them was their connection to God and, and what he was bringing about, the work that he was doing. Right, like in Isaiah, um, who'd seen the living God. And, right. You know, or in, in, in any of these, like, or like a Lazarus. I mean, you know, the story that you, you, can't, you can't touch Lazarus once Jesus raises him from the dead. <laughs> Please, what are you going to do with him? <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right, it's right. like these yeah. guys, once they had truly experienced right. the death of the living God. Yeah. Well, I mean, even the resurrection with Peter. I mean, in, we just finished John uh, in Bible study. And you know, it's Jesus who's prophesying that you're, you'll go uh, where you, you don't want to go. Your right. hands will be, your arms will be stretched out. I mean, yeah. But he went. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I mean, even, honestly, yeah, like. Yeah. But it's not that these guys didn't have <clears throat> didn't have concerns either. I mean, he brings up Elijah, and sure. if you go back to Elijah, no, my favorite it. Elijah is First uh, Kings nineteen with the prophets of Baal, yeah. right? Where he calls down the fire. He does all. Yeah. This. He slays all of the prophets of Baal. He shows them the power of God. The 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 crowds are singing his praises, and what does Elijah do? He runs off into the desert, fleeing because he, th he uh, thinks I'm the only one left, and I might right. as well just yeah. stay out here. Yeah. Yeah. And so, even in the midst of all of that, yeah. you've still got right. this very human response. Yeah, yeah. and Roy, yeah. Um, we could just see God, on. right? And I mean, God just burned up rocks <laughs> for him. You know what I mean? It's like, and he's right. still yeah. running. Yeah. Right, and and so it's that constant running back to God and and connecting with Him and. You know, yeah. allowing him to re-strengthen us and right. repurpose us. All right. I think that's uh, probably a, a lot of good ideas uh, to preach on. I uh, hope, uh, hope everything goes well. D leave any uh, comments you have for us, uh, things we might have missed. And uh, to further the discussion, check out craftofpreaching.com. Uh, you already mentioned Nasker's article there. You can look at that. Um, and, uh, yeah, God bless your preaching.